Hello and welcome to Vinslow Academy. So in this Python cybersecurity script tutorial, we're going to look at how we can make a link scanner that will take a list of legitimate domains and a list of test URLs. This, in this example, we have a predefined test list, but it could also be a dynamic list where user input uh, are given a URL at a time and then just get a quick result back telling them whether or not this is actually a legitimate domain. In order to build this, we have to <coughs> import two libraries, TLD tracks and Levenstein. Uh, this one will uh, help us take a domain and divide it into the subdomain, its domain and its postfix. Whereas this uh, library here will just do a similarity analysis of two st string text. So first off, we have our list of legitimate domains. Here we just have three different domains exam.com, google.com and facebook.com. You can extend this list uh, with whatever you want. You can probably also just Google uh, some large list of legitimate domains just to have the basic ones uh, covered if you are to use this in a, in a live application. Then we have a list of test URLs just to demonstrate uh, how this works. So here we have a few where we have uh, just uh, removed a single uh, uh, M from the domain, and then we have one where we have a subdomain and uh, a postfix to a login page as well, where the Facebook is in this case uh, spelled with the uh, zeros instead of O's to get the user to think that this is this is legitimate, legitimate uh, based on the looks of it. And then of course we have a fully legitimate email uh, email <laughs> link that should display when running this that our script can also tell that this is actually a, a right uh, URL. We are in need of three main methods to get this to work. So the first one that we will uh, go through is the main one. So basically what we do is to loop over our test URLs by calling this is phishing URL. We will give the input, which is a URL. So that is coming from the test URL uh, list that we have up here. And then we are just taking the entire list of legitimate domains to compare it against. So is phishing is called here with the URL and our list. Then we will call extract domain parts, which is our second method to get the subdomain, our domain and the suffix. So we'll input the URL that we got from our uh, loop object here. And our extract domains is the one we have here. It's a simple two liner method. So basically what we do is to call this library and then extract the URL. When doing this, we can get the subdomain, domain and suffix. So it's actually pretty simple and a quick way just to get a, a string URL divided into its proper pieces so that we can work with them in any given way that we want. So now that we have all these, we do a quick check. So we check is the domain or the suffix in legitimate uh, domains. If it is, we just return false because then we are certain that this URL uh, is actually uh, fine and the user should uh, feel safe clicking it. But if we don't find this in our legitimate domain, there could be a chance that it is a misspelled one. So somebody is trying to trick us. So we will go down here and call our last method which is is misspelled domain. Here we'll input the domain and then the list of legitimate domains just to see the, the similarity and do an analysis of how close are we actually to the right domain. So if we go up to this method right here, we can see we put in the domain. So the domain that we extracted from our method up here, then we put our entire list of legitimate domains and then we put a threshold of 0.9 which is the one that we are going to compare our score against. So you can change this uh, in whatever way you want, uh, but 0 0.9 is just to get as accurate as possible in order for us to make sure that, that people only uh, get shown uh, valid domains. But basically we loop over here uh, our list of legitimate domains. So uh, the three string objects we have right here. So we'll loop three times over this. And then for each legitimate domain, we will make a similarity score. So we'll take the domain, compare it against the legitimate domain, get a similarity score out of it. So zero point something or just one if they are uh, if they are the same. 
then we'll just do a quick compare. So if the similarity score is uh, above or equal to our threshold, then we will say, okay, this is actually a legitimate domain and we will return false. <coughs> Whereas we will return true if there, true if there is no uh, valid cases found in the misbuild. So we'll do this for all the domains in this list will be compared against the domain that we couldn't classify correctly in the first method right here. And if this is then uh, returned uh, true, then we know that there is a potential phishing uh, URL detected. So we'll just make a quick print of this string right here saying potential phishing detected. And then we will just uh, extend with the URL to tell the user that the input, this particular input, since we are looping over a list, is uh, a phishing, a potential phishing link. And then we are basically done with this script. So let's try run it and see how it works. So as we see here, it printed out four potential phishings detected, but in our list we had five elements. And that's because the last one, that is of course a valid uh, URL, just to illustrate this, and it's google.com. But the rest of these is misspelled in some way. There is a one here, there is two zeros here, etc. And similar to this, this is not valid either, even though Google is correctly uh, spelled. And then you can play around with this. So if you, for example, set it to 0 0.2, then of course nothing is found because then we are getting a similarity score that is way above 0 0.2. And that's why 0 0.9 is uh, more or less a default uh, you could choose, uh, unless of course you want to uh, pick one. <coughs> but that's a quick way to make a link scanner and comparison script in Python. Very much like and subscribe, and then I will see you next time here on Winsloof Academy.